Hey, I'm Mark Hunter, the Sales Hunter. Recently, I came out with a new book, The Making of a Mind for Sales. And I want to talk about some of the things that I discuss in the book, really specifically about why setting goals and achieving them are so hard. In sales, we know it's absolutely critical, but it's it's hard to do it. it. Okay, it might be easy to set goals, but to achieve them is a whole nother game. Let's walk through 10 things right now. Number one, unreasonable. You set unreasonable goals. Now, we want to have goals that stretch us, no doubt about that. But what happens when we make unreasonable goals is we quickly become disenchanted. We quickly realize that we can't achieve them and we we shut down. We see this so often with sales quotas that are unreasonable, too high. Get partway through the quarter and people just pack it in. And as a result, then they say, well, I'm just going to work for the next quarter. Mm, Unreasonable. Number two, no commitment. Hey, a goal you make without a commitment is not a goal. You see, goals have to have a commitment. And the commitment needs to be that you understand what is it going to take to achieve that goal. It's absolutely critical. Number three, a failure to believe. Now think about this. This really dovetails on number one and number two, because if there's no commitment and it's unreasonable, failure to believe is certainly going to happen because I'm not going to believe in the goal. See, I got to believe in the goal and the strategy as to how I'm going to achieve that. Which takes me to number four, review and plan. You see, when you set a goal, you create a plan, but you also have to review your plan. Too many times what happens is I see salespeople setting goals, they build a plan, but then they never look at it again. And then they wonder why at the end of the period they haven't achieved their their goal because they didn't review it. You've got to be in a position that you review your, your, your plan daily. And what I mean daily, I mean, I mean just that daily because you got to stay focused. You have to be centered on achieving that goal. Number five, time concerns. What do I mean by time concerns? See, sometimes people will set goals and they're fine, but there just isn't enough time to get it done. So I got to understand what are the time concerns in terms of how is this goal going to fit in with everything else that I've got going on? Never create a goal without looking at the big picture. You see, you may have a goal that's a subset of something bigger that you're working on. It's fine. But how does that fit into the bigger picture? And is there time to be able to achieve that? Absolutely critical. Number six, lack of a role model. Yeah, see, what's interesting is sales and anything, it's not a solo activity. It's a team sport. And I want to have a role model of others who I can look to who have been able to accomplish similar goals successfully. There's just something magical that if I can look at somebody and see the challenges that they face. I, I, don't, I don't want to look at somebody who just, just poof their way through and achieve their goals. I, I want to look at somebody who, who actually maybe had to struggle a little bit, who had to struggle to make their goals. Why? Because you know what that does? That tells me that if I encounter problems, it's okay. I can make it through it. This is why having a role model is so critical, which takes us to number seven, accountability. You have to be accountable. A a goal that is not shared is not a goal. I mean, come on, let's, let's stop and think about that for a moment. If you're going to achieve a goal, you have to be willing to be held accountable to it. Accountable. And I'm going to say this goes beyond your boss. This is not just your boss. This is this is a peer group. These are other people who are going to help you because they're going to help hold you accountable and they're going to help keep you on course. They're going to give you guidance. They're going to give you direction. And many times, unfortunately, a boss, we just don't feel comfortable with that type of with that type of relationship. If you do, great, terrific. But what I found is this the more accountability I have, the greater the probability is that I'm going to achieve that goal. So I may not, I may have not only my mastermind group, but, but my family. I may have other peers. I have other people. I may, I may share this in my blog, social media 
I may share this from the stage and keynote speaking I do, but it helps create accountability. Number eight, poor focus. Poor focus. Just because you set the goal doesn't mean you achieve it. Now, here's situation. Poor focus comes into play because we allow ourselves to get distracted. This is, again, why I say that you, you, you've got to review and plan every day. You've got to understand time concerns. You've got to have a role model. You've got to have all these pieces. This poor focus is what's going to happen if you're not going through the previous seven steps, which then takes me to number nine. And number nine is going to blow you away. Small steps. Small steps. Too many times what happens is people set goals and they expect to accomplish them in one fell swoop. I got to achieve this, this number, the sales quota, the sales number, and I'm going to get it all through one account. Okay, fine. I may get it all through one account, but there's a hundred small steps along the way that are going to help me get there. Absolutely. Key. Goals are achieved through the small steps done daily. And I can't stress that enough. This is why in your review and plan, you want to break your goal down into very small pieces. And as you accomplish those pieces, you celebrate the success of the piece. Number 10, your attitude. Yeah, that out. I put this number 10 very intentionally because I tell you what, I can have the previous nine all in place. But if my attitude's bad, mm, forget it. But the same token... Attitude isn't necessarily going to drive everything else. Got to keep this in mind, okay? Attitude isn't going to drive everything else. Attitude is going to help give me the fuel in the engine to keep going when things are tough. What have we been talking about? I'm talking about how to set goals and actually achieve them. Hey, my name is Mark Hunter, the sales hunter. I want you to pick up the book because I just came out with this, The Making of a Mind for Sales. It's critical. It's important. I want you to have it. Check it out. Amazon, wherever books are sold. Great selling.